Welcome, Ohana, to Haku Collective's Mele in Hawaii. And uh, I'm your host, Lena Girl of Hawaii 105. I'm very honored to be here. And I love seeing this beautiful, lovely young wahine just singing and do her, doing her thing. She is definitely an artist to watch, Malie Laimen. Malie, how are you, sister? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. Can you please share with everybody the name of the song that you just performed and what that song's all about? Um, I just sang a song entitled Lei Nani. It's translated to Beautiful Lei, and it's basically talking about, um, it's talking about a Lei, but pretty much it's two lovers coming back to see each other. So, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Are you old enough to sing songs like that? Nah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now, sister, I know you play ukulele, you play steel guitar, and I've been seeing you, I've been watching you grow up and, and, and do all kinds of wonderful things. Do you have any special projects coming up that we can follow you on? Mm, I did my first, I got to do my first recording with Kimmy A on her new Children of the Sea album that just came oh. out last week, Friday. I'm on, Woo! I sang Papa Hana Mohua Keo. It was so fun. That is awesome. And I know you had good fun being in studio, but yeah. I cannot wait for you to come up with your own projects pretty soon, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And he's not pressuring you or anything like that, but how can we follow you, sister? What's your social, social media tag so we can find out what Malie is doing and where she's going to be in 2021? Um, you guys can follow my Instagram at Malie Lyman. Um, I post, or I, yeah, I post on my story a lot of, the performances I do and you guys can follow on there, hopefully. Well, you are awesome, sister. Mele Kalikimaka to you and your beautiful family. And thank you so much for that wonderful Mele. Definitely an artist to watch. Maria Lyman. Hi, baby. Oh. All right, family, thank you so much for hanging out with us. That is just a wonderful way, I think, to start off our show by starting it off with the new generation, yeah? Uh, again, I'm Lena Girl of Hawaii 105 KINE. Very excited to be here. I got all my notes and I'm ready to go because um, we've got three other incredible artists, just like Mali, other incredible artists that are going to be joining us today. Super excited about that. Before I get to them, though, I do need to say a very big mahalo to our friends at Pop Up Makeke and Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. Um, they are incredible and they are helping to bring us this final melee in Hawaii for 2020. And I think that this is a show that you're absolutely going absolutely gonna to love and you're going to want to play over and over and over and over and over again. Okay. Now, today is also the very last episode of 2020 in Melee in Hawaii, but it's also the last day of the 12 days of giveaways you've been seeing on popupmakeke.com. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yes, wait. Yep, my producers are saying that you still have a chance to get in on the big final giveaway. We've awarded the first 11 winners. And, you know, we got 12, was the 12th day of Christmas my tutu gave to me. Well, we still have that 12th grand prize to give away. And a very big mahalo to all of our vendors that just threw into this great prize. Um, and that's Makawila Inc., 
Prince Kuhio Hawaiian Civic Club, Aloha Modern, Matsumo Studio, Haku Collective, and you're gonna get a wonderful $50 pop-up Makeke gift card. So you still got a chance to get in on the winnings. We are going to announce the winner in today's show. So please make sure you keep it locked in right here. But are you ready for the music? Cause I am, and that's what it's all about, right? Meli in Hawaii. So let's get to it. Now this young, incredible Wahine singer and songwriter, born and raised in Hawaii. She now splits her time between Hawaii and her current home in Los Angeles. And seriously, she is the only artist that I know that can get Janet Jackson to be singing H A W A I I and chowing up the shots. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Anna V. Hello, everyone. I go by the name of Anna V. Thank you, Lena, for that great introduction. You ready? All right, let's go. <clears throat> I'm going to start off my set with a song that I wrote. Um, before I ever released any type of music, I was very nervous to pursue music. And given the year that it's been, I feel like maybe it might inspire someone to continue their journey. Um, so I thought it was fitting to start off my set like that. And also I have a little dedication to my mother on the second verse, so enjoy. It goes like this. <clears throat> Lately I've been second guessing about the path I've chosen if I'm in the right direction. Doubts and these questions, they fill up my mind Looking at the clock like I'm running out of time But really that's not the case, pressure was my mistake Learning to find the balance and understanding my ways Regardless of what's been said or what they continue to say I'ma keep the faith either way, so God gave me style, God gave me grace Oh yeah, yeah, yeah God put a smile on my face Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God made me shine like the sun. And sometimes I feel like I'm the one. And it ain't my fault. I just reach for style like I'm hot. I break it down. And it ain't my fault. You can't break it down the way that I break it down, no. Look, my mama had me when she was just a little girl and when she made a little girl. Now that changed her whole world and in society. Statistically, 16, not how it's meant to be. Less than two years, baby bro came right after me. Recipe set to fail, unconventional route. Two kids by 18, but you still figured it out. So look at them on the side. What they talking about? I bet they think twice before they open their mouth. Mama, you are a queen. Give credit to where it's due. The reason I strive for greatness, it's all because of you. Uh. God gave me style, God gave me grace Oh yeah, yeah, yeah God put a smile on my face Oh yeah, 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 yeah God made me shine like the sun and Sometimes I feel like I'm the one And it ain't my fault Said it ain't my fault yeah, it ain't my fault. Yeah. <laughs> that was God Gave Me Grace. Um, hopefully it inspires some of you guys. And big shout out to my mother, Namahana, who's tuning in right now. Actually, maybe we should go check out the uh, comments. Actually, I don't even know how to do that. Anyways, we're going to do another song for you since it is December. We'll do a Christmas song, a uh, Christmas song that I wrote titled It's Christmas, available on all digital platforms. So go ahead and check it out. <clears throat> you can feel it in the air. You can see the change. House is decorated with colorful lights, shining bright at night. I've been waiting all along, patiently waiting for it to come. Presents underneath the tree, I wonder what they got me. But I can't wait to spend some time with my family and friends. And I oh, 
Can't wait to get my grub bone. Let's say prayer so we can begin. Amen. It's Christmas, most wonderful time. It's Christmas. I can't hold back my smile. It's Christmas. It comes around once a year. It's Christmas. And I'm happy that it's here. Happy that it's here. Second verse is for my Hawaii people. <clears throat> Now we don't get much snow, Jack Frost never nipped my nose, but it's okay, cause I love the sand and the sun and the beach, shave ice in my hand, Honolulu city lights, the Santa that I see, stays downtown with Mrs. Claus, dipping their feet in the water, giving shaka and all, but I can't wait to spend some time with my family and friends. And I can't wait to get my grub on. Let's say prayer so we can begin. Amen. It's Christmas, most wonderful time. It's Christmas, I can't hold back my smile. It's Christmas, it comes around once a year. It's Christmas. And I'm happy that it's here. It's Christmas, available on all digital platforms, produced by Matt Honda. Shout out to him. Um, all right. Okay, here we go with the comments. All right. Shout out to Kauai, um, San Antonio, Southern California. Sorry, I keep looking this way because this is where the computer screen is and this is where the camera is. Anyways, I'm going to do my last song. It's probably my most popular song, I think, what I'm known for. And it's titled Hawaii. I'm extremely grateful for um, just all the opportunities that this song has given me. Produced by Les Ludiazo, written by me. Um, yeah, if you know the song, please sing along wherever you're at, wherever you're tuning in from. Please feel free to do the dance, do the motions with me. I would love it. All right. Let's go. Beautiful ocean in the palm trees. Sun is always shining, feel that cool breeze. Why are you in a hurry, not need rush things? Just sit back and cruise and we'll be, we'll be. This place they call paradise, I call my own. Blessed to be born and raised local grown. This aloha gone went round. You know it's contagious. No can't contain it. Yeah, my favorite place is that H A W A. I I A J W A. I I A J W A. I I. There ain't no other place like these islands home. Something about this iron really healed the soul. Hard to explain, but if you've been there, then you know that easy living just going with the flow. Aloha, kikahi, kikahi. This place they call paradise, I call my home. Blessed to be born and raised local grown. This aloha going round, you know it's contagious. No cake. Contain it, yeah, my favorite place is that H-A-W-A, ah ah H-A-W-A, ah ah H-A-W-A, ah ah There ain't no other place like these islands. Mauka to Makai, east to the west side. Why Manalo, Kane, Ohe, Maka, Hawaii, and my Nana Kuli, Kapole. Homestead where my grandma stay. Shout out to Aiea though, cause that's the place that I was raised. I love a park in Hawaii, some of my best times. So Lake Moana Lua, take it down to Townside. Kalihi Waikiki, Kahala to Hawaii Kai. Over the North Shore, Laie got that Pali Pai. 
Don't matter what city or island that you in, this place is something special and you know you won't forget. With all my love and loyalty and utmost respect, proud Kanaka and you know I'ma always represent H-A-W-A, there ain't no other place like these islands. Thank you guys. H A W O oh 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 you power ready. Yes. Woo! Give it up for out of it. Anavi. Thank Which, you. I don't know what it is. I keep trying to change your name and I apologize for that. I gotta remember. That's Anavi. okay. We it's a okay. Hawaiian. It's, we got a Hawaiian in the house. Oh no, it's a beautiful <laughs> thing, sister. You know, I first of all, I gotta just tell you your music. I think it makes a lot of people who are far away from home homesick. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> no, no, no. I, and it's a beautiful oh thing. God. I think <laughs> I think that you've captured Hawaii so well, and I know so many people who um born and raised in Hawaii, and for whatever reasons, whether it's college or you know, maybe they just had a hard time making it here in Hawaii and it was more affordable for them someplace else. For whatever reasons, they've moved away. But when they hear your song, it just kind of just kind of tweaks the heart. Yeah. But that oh, first song, I wanted to that. talk story with you about God's yeah. Grace. grace. Um, mm -hmm. That was very deep. And I noticed that you you love to incorporate a lot of styles. I don't think that um, you're the kind of wahine that's kind of stuck in a niche. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of hip hop, R&B, but also island reggae, Hawaiian music. So I think being in the islands, you just get an array of all kinds of talent and music, you know. And and I love your um, your wonderful tribute to your mama. And I know you just kind of quickly mentioned her name, Namahana. Can you share a little bit about what your mom means to you as a musical influence? Um, as a musical influence, uh, you saw my mother sang. Um, when I was younger, her name is Namahana. She had a song called Baby I. It was really big and she actually really inspired me to do music. But at a young age, I was so, I'm, I'm very shy at my core still to this day, but at a, as a little girl, like you would barely hear me speak. <laughs> so um, I always wanted to perform. I always wanted to sing, but I just left that up to my mom. And then she just continues to inspire me with everything that she does. And then she's such a big influence and a help even with my musical journey right now, currently she's, She's my go-to, she's my rock, she's my everything. And I love how you honor her because I think that's important, how we honor our makua and those that have come before us. You definitely got that in your heart. So thank you so thank much you. for sharing thank your you. music, sister. I absolutely love it. Um, now, you. you did a 12 days of giveaway, right? With Pop-Up I did, I did. And you were day number 10. What was yes. it that you folks gave away? What was, it was the... Um, I decided to give two $50 gift cards to Moani Island Bistro and Bar. Oh, how come? Why Moani? I mean, oh. sister, you know there's like <laughs> over 400 vendors, yeah, on popupmakeke.com. And they were like, can you please pick one? <laughs> right, why, it's why like so hard. Right, right, that's just crazy. Why, why Moani yeah. Bistro? Um, well, first off, I want to give a big shout out to popupmakeke.com because I feel like it's such a cool website that they have to get all of these... Um, to give the opportunity for people online to shop local, make it really easy. And I know they have free shipping right now. So big shout out to them. But also I chose Moani Island Bistro and Bar because I have a lot of love for the family that runs it, but they also have good food, good entertainment. I felt like this during the holidays, I felt like it was a great gift to have and to go ahead and spend some quality time with your family or your loved ones or whoever you want to spend time with and enjoy some good food and good music. Perfect. Then we know that every time Anna V is home in Hawaii. She'll be hanging out at Moni Bistro. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sister. Well, I'm, I'm so glad that you kind of got over your shyness because your music moves hearts and you represent people. You know, you're, you're actually the only artist on today's um, event that has to split her time between two different homes, Hawaii mm. and the continent, and you represent both so well. So thank you so thank much you. for sharing your music. You're going to come back, yeah, after. Yes, yes, I will. Okay, thank you so okay, much. Perfect. <laughs> thank you, sister. <laughs> All right. So, you know, uh, and by the way, just want to let you guys know, Anavi, A-N-A-V-E dot com. That's where you can find all of her incredible music right there on her website. She's amazing. Oh, I apologize. That was so rude of me. I never even get a chance to talk story with her guitar player. But mahalo, brother, for 
be a wonderful guitar player behind that sweet, sweet voice. All right, so what is Pop-Up Makeke family? Well, Pop-Up Makeke is, I can't even tell you how awesome it is. Pop-Up Makeke.com. Um, I, okay, I'm making up this story because I think this is what it is, but this is um, the creation of an event following Mary Monarch, um, when Mary Monarch was canceled. And um, in early April, we were in the midst of this pandemic. Nobody really knew what was going down. We were all shut down. And here are these Hawaii vendors, many of them who, you know, would be there at the incredible marketplaces that happen on Hilo, in Hilo, Hawaii during Mary Monarch that had no place to go. In fact, many of them, that's where the greater portion of their income comes from is just that one week of sales. And so an idea was created um, that they would take all of these incredible vendors and put them all together in one space. Started out on TV, went into live streams, and now it has become something so fantastic. Over 400 vendors represented um, from Hawaii. And on top of that, shipping worldwide absolutely free. Um, and I'm just super, super, in fact, I'm gonna show you how super crazy I am about them. I order from them. And this, this is how you know, I just wanna show proof, okay? Sorry, yeah, Haku Collective guys, <laughs> they're like, Lena Girl's changing the script. Okay, I just want to show you. So this is, I'm going to show you my name, but not my address, okay? But I just wanted to let you know that this came in the mail. You see that? Pop-up makeke. Now, I would box, unbox it and do a big reveal, except that you would be seeing all the Christmas gifts I'm buying from my family and my friends and people I love, right? And uh, this one is a long, long tube. Again, right there, you see that? Boom. Pop up makeke, pop up makeke. See that? Okay. So yeah, I shop pop up makeke, and I hope you do too, because one hundred percent of the proceeds from sales goes directly back to the vendors. So be sure to check out popupmakeke.com and please show your support. Look at that, the very handsome Billy V, the very beautiful McKenna Maduli with pop up makeke. <laughs> it's exciting. Here's how you check it out. Check this. Uh, hello everyone, I'm McKenna Maduli. I'm Billy V. Oh, you are not going to want to miss Pop-Up Makeke this Sunday, November 22nd. Because every segment is McKenna's favorite segment. Not only that, but we've got a couple of surprises just for you. I'm talking sales, I'm talking discounts, and all the goodness and creativity of Pop-Up Makeke. So make sure you're shopping online at popupmakeke.com. And as always, we're here for you live at 8 p.m. on KHNL every Sunday. You see, that is just so awesome. Great things happening with Papa Makeke. And again, a very big mahalo to them, our friends, for helping us out with this final Meli in Hawaii for 2020. Time for me to introduce my next guest. You know, when I first met him, he was a young, energetic ukulele player that was part of a trio. And they came in with such a different vibe that was just purely from the heart. Since that time, this incredible incredible player has gone on to taking the ukulele to different heights. I mean, outside of Hawaiian music and island music, jazz, blues, even rock and classical. And he's inspired a whole new generation of ukulele players and, and kind of let them know, hey, you know what? It's okay to take risks. It's okay to try out different genres of music with this beautiful four string instrument from Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. Ukulele virtuoso, Jake Shimabukuro. Lena girl, thank you for that intro. That was so nice. So great to see you. Um, man, what a, what a beautiful performance by Anna. That was so, so moving. Really killer. i just so honored to be here. This is the last Mele in Hawaii, you know, for 2020. So it truly is an honor to be here. Uh, big shout out to Malia as well. That was that was absolutely gorgeous and um, just stoked to be here. So I'm going to stop talking right now and play a little bit. But um, I'm going to start off with, with a song here. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, classical pieces, but it actually reminds me of one of my favorite traditional uh, Hawaiian songs, which is Akaka Falls. You know, to me, Akaka Falls is one of those sacred songs. And when I was a, a student at Kamaki High School, a dear friend of mine, Jonathan Rivera, who was a, a big influence for me, he used to sing this song to me, and his falsetto was just unbelievable, you know. And I, 
I had the uh, I had the privilege of hanging out with you know guys like him and you know John Fury you know who really um, inspired me and and uh, kind of took me under their wing you know so I love playing this song every time I play this I, I think of Jonathan but this song the melody of this song is so sacred and so beautiful and it reminds me of a very of a very sacred um, classical piece uh, by the great Franz Schubert so I'm going to do a little medley of Akaka Falls and Schubert's Ave Maria but um, uh, I don't know Ave Maria is always like I think makes me think of Christmas so I, I hope you like this Jonathan if you're out there man this is this one's for you all right Kamuki Bulldogs <laughs> Kaka Falls and Schubert's Ave Maria. I hope you guys are all um, enjoying your holiday season. It's been it's been pretty crazy. I, oh, I know we got some comments. Uh, 
I'm looking at some of the comments that are coming in. So someone said that they're doing all their Christmas shopping on popupmakeke.com this year. So they said thank you to Pop Up Makeke for making their Christmas shopping so easy. Um, also, uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, shout out to um, <laughs> Pomai, Pomai Kai Lyman. She's uh, she's Ma Malia's mom, and you know she's been we've been doing a lot of uh, community work together. So I know she's watching. So big shout out to Pomai. Thank you. All right. Um, yeah, Malia, if you're still watching, that was beautiful. Um, you got to check out, you know, Haku Collective, they have this amazing um, program called Artists to Watch. And Malia is one of those, uh, she's, she's in that program uh, as well as a whole other um, just amazing, talented, young, up-and-coming uh, performers. So you got to check that out. And you can check out their, their, uh, their website and, um, at, I believe, Haku, was it? What was the uh, Haku, hakucollective.org or haku.org? Someone's going to put it in the chat and then I'll be able to tell you. But also, big shout out again to Pop Up Makeke. I'm doing all my shopping, just like you, Lena Girl, doing it all on popupmakeke.com this year. So thanks for making it so easy. Free shipping everywhere. Oh, there it is. hakuhawaii.com. That's it. hakuhawaii.com. So make sure you go check them out. All right. Uh, I'm going to do a, a, another song here. This is one of my, one of my all-time favorite Christmas songs. And... You know, Lena Girl was mentioning a uh, long time ago when I first started out, I was playing with uh, two amazing musicians who influenced me so much, John Yamasato and Lopaka Colon, and we had a band called Pure Heart. And back then, you know, we used to be so mesmerized by uh, bands like, of course, Capenna and Kao Crater Boys and, of course, the great Willie Kay. And Willie Kay used to sing this song every Christmas that would just leave, the, leave everyone in, in tears. And I can't do it nearly anything like he does it, but I really wanted to do this song because uh, as a tribute to, you know, Willie Kay and his family because he was such a huge inspiration to so many of us. So here's my interpretation of O Holy Night. All right.
holy night. Yeah, nobody did it like Uncle Willie K, man. That was the, it's always the best, man. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do uh, one more song, and I, I'm super excited because, you know, Paula Funga, who's going to be coming up, you know, she's, uh, she's just been such an inspiration, you know, to so many, so many artists, not just in Hawaii, but all over the world. Um, so proud to have uh, collaborated with her. We did, a, we did a Stevie Wonder song recently that's going to be released um, uh, sometime next year. And Paula just, oh, she just killed it. It was un unbelievable. Um, but uh, so she's going to be up next and she's going to just slay it. But I, I know I, I just want to say one, one quick thing. Um, of course, I want to give a big shout out, you know, to uh, CNHA, the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. You know, thank you for supporting this show. Um, thank you for supporting Haku Collective and just everything that they do for our artists and our community here. Um, and a big shout out to Kimie Minor. She just had her baby, so congratulations. That's huge. Uh, Chantel, Teresa, Brad, Scotty, Evan, the, the whole team. The Haku Collective team, man, you guys are just so, so, it's such an honor to work with, with all of you. So thank you. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to finish with this song. But once again, to all the kids that are watching, you know, I just want to say, find your passion. Find something that you love. Um, you know, maybe it doesn't have to be music. Maybe you have a passion for cooking and you want to be a chef someday. Or you have a passion for dance. You want to be a dancer or a passion for medicine. You want to be a doctor. You know, whatever it is, just practice, practice, practice. Study, study, study. You know, give your 100% all the time. And the last thing I want to say is be drug free. You know, I've been drug free my whole life. You don't need drugs, okay? Be safe, everyone. And uh, stay tuned for Paula Funga. And uh, I hope you enjoy this last song. This is a piece entitled Ichigo Ichie that was inspired by a Japanese word that means once in a lifetime. And it's really a song about embracing the moment, being in the now. And I got to work with Ron Artis um, a couple years ago and he actually wrote lyrics to the song and I still want to record it with him one day. So Ron, if you're listening, man, we got to record this with your lyrics and you singing. But um, I hope you like this. Here's Ichigo Ichie. Take care, everyone. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and stay tuned for the great Paula Funga.
Thank you. Oh my gosh, Jake, that was so beautiful. You know, there oh. is something magical about watching a master at work. And that's you, brother. Oh, thanks, Lena. Great, so great to see you. Yes, Merry yeah, Christmas, glad, Happy Holidays. I'm glad we How both got the, the memo. Yes, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're rocking the hats. I, I have to be honest with you, though. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. <laughs> These hats are not Look, made for home. I, ha I have to put the fan right next to me because it's so hot. <laughs> when you're playing, I'm like, I turn off the light. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's too hot. I, got I totally you. <laughs> feel you. I know. I know what you mean. But, you know, there's yeah. something so magical about Christmas that I'm excited because you've got a Christmas special coming up, right? Oh, yeah, I do on, uh, on the 19th. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. Um, Malia's uh, mom, you know, Pomai, and yes. Pomai is doing something with me. Herbota is doing something with me. Uh, Herbota Jr. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, so I'm really, really excited about it. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us on this Mele in Hawaii, the very last one of 2020. And Jake, I got to ask you something because yeah. we know Jake loves the ukulele. And we know Jake <laughs> loves music. But mm -hmm. I would like Jake right now on Mele in Hawaii right here to share with us three other things that Jake loves that has oh. nothing to do with the ukulele, that has nothing to do with music. <laughs> because yeah. we, I, think, I think that's all a lot of the world really knows about you, you know? <laughs> so I want to know a little bit more about Jake. What three oh. other things does Jake love? Oh, wait, that's right. I, you know, I made a note for myself over here to turn uh -huh. off the echo cancellation. And oh. I <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Okay, I got it off now. Um, That's okay. I like well, hearing myself in stereo. <laughs> <laughs> well, my number one, my number one most important thing that I just absolutely love is just being a dad. You know, love just, I mean, my two kids, they, I mean, that's like, that's like everything. I mean, so that. That's one. Uh, fishing and diving, you know, that's something that I, I just, that's one of my, especially diving, you know, because, you know, with my grandpa and my grandma and grandpa being from Molokai, you know, I grew up doing a lot of diving and stuff with him and he was an awesome diver. Um, so, yeah, in fact, my grandpa's dive partner, Uncle, Uncle Keely, he was like the number one diver on, on Molokai. I mean, you ask anybody, you know, Uncle Keely was like the, the man, you know, so um yeah so that and i guess um yeah i love cooking i really love i'm not a good cook but i love cooking i love just making up my own recipes and things like that so yeah. well i love those three things about you because those three things actually have to do with what i'm going to talk about so number one you love your kids um i remember an incredible event in which you and i and a number of ukulele players with a very big mahalo to brian tolentino for gathering us all together and we played mm -hmm. music for shriners hospital yes for all of our kiki who are you know are either in recovery or are sickly and we just wanted to bring them a little bit of christmas you remember this time brother oh yeah oh, and yeah. we dropped like literally tons of snow on the front lawn of Shriners Hospital and we as ukulele players play for them. And I remember that all of the ukulele players were kind of goading Jake into singing. Come on, Jake, you gotta <laughs> sing, you gotta sing, you gotta sing. And so Jake, you know, so much peer pressure, right? That was so unkind of them. I was one of them. Um, <laughs> so he steps up to the microphone and he starts to sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and his son ran up to him, started pulling on his pants and started crying and saying, what did he say, Jake? He said, Daddy, stop singing. Daddy, <laughs> stop singing. <laughs> yes. I was like, yeah. There's a video of that. You know, Brian Brian has a video of that. He showed it to me and I was just like, oh my goodness. But you know, Brian uh, Brian Tolentino and, and, and everyone, you know, they still keep that tradition. It's you a know, beautiful boy. tradition and yeah. I love being a part of it. It was such an honor and it was so wonderful to see your boy take <laughs> you off that stage, brother. <laughs> So quickly, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer went right into an instrumental. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> now, the last two items, um, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the fact that you love fishing and you love diving and that you also love food kind of leads me into the fact that you did a 12 days of giveaway on Pop-Up Makeke, right? And I believe you were day yeah. number 10, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you chose the Loaia Crown Hat and the Limu Kohu <laughs> Chili Pepper Water, which is oh, so yeah. funny. I was just like, that's so so random. And <laughs> I think now we kind of know why, right? 
Well, you know, it well, you know, Leviah because of you know because I love fishing, and then also the hat is core, just like my ukulele. I mean, the core on the hat looks just like this kind of curly core on my uke. So I thought, oh, that's so cool. But you know, it's not for it's not for me. It's going to someone else. But yeah, I, I'm gonna get me one of those. And then so I I just thought that was a really cool. I felt really connected to that item. And the other thing is chili pepper water. And the reason for that is because I love chili pepper water, and uh, we have a chili pepper plant. And my wife makes she makes like bomb chili pepper water but but when i saw limu kohu in the chili pepper water i was like what so i mean that's like taking it to another level so i gotta i gotta tell i gotta tell my wife hey, hey you know you i think you gotta step it up put some limu kohu in there so <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no no we'll start fighting. Oh, wait we're live she won't she won't see this we'll, we'll be <laughs> okay <laughs> well merry christmas to you brother thank you so much for hanging out with us um how can we follow you and 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 find out about the great projects that are coming up i know you kind of talked about some collaborations and stuff yeah. so i have a collaborations album coming out next year and uh you know and i have a website it's jakeshimabukuro.com i'm on uh facebook and um instagram um and you know so uh you know, so yeah, <laughs> and then word of mouth. I, I like to tell people, you know, like like tell people in person, hey, you know, we're doing this thing. <laughs> you know, but, but you know, but that's the that's the the new the new age, right? That's the new platform. Right. So I'm I'm learning. I'm a little slow, but I'm getting there. No, you are amazing. Um, before I let you go, because I know you're going to come back and join us, but I do want to say thank you so much. I I kind of hear when I ask about you, you get hard time talk about you, and yet you. If within your performances, you stop down between every song and you were so very grateful for our Haku Collective gang. You named every single one of my tech, our technical team today. You gave love to the people that are performing. Um, and you also talked about the importance of staying healthy and, and, and making right choices. And oh. that's why I love you, Jake, because I'm so grateful that you have such a grateful heart. So thank you so much for being with us, brother. And we're gonna collaborate coming up in a little bit right oh yeah i can't wait i awesome. can't wait it's awesome. awesome well you take care brother thank you so much for being on mele in hawaii oh merry christmas and happy holidays <laughs> yeah thank you Lena. thank you brother all right so He's talking about Papa Makeke and he was serious. He shops popupmakeke.com and so do I. And we're so very grateful um, that we were able to be a part of this awesome 12 days of giveaway. We already had 11 people win the first 11 and we've got the big grand prize that is coming up. But you know, for a lot of our Ohana that are tuning in from all over the world, and yeah, they are. Yeah, so we got Ohana in Aia listening in, but we also have Ohana in South Carolina. California, over in Cape Cod, which I believe is on the East Coast. Um, Dayton, Ohio is tuning in. Maili is tuning in. Wherever you're at, sometimes you can't get Hawaii, but can you? You now can. You can get Hawaii in your home for the holidays, and you can share Hawaii with those you love via popupmakeke.com, which is shipping worldwide for free you cannot miss that by the way family can you please hit us up in the chat and let us know where you're coming from we're loving all the shakas and we're loving the love and the claps but i want to know where you're coming from because i want to be able to shout you out yeah i want to be able to shout you out so right now let's go ahead and check out some of the fun things that pop up makeke is doing say bye bye to bah humbug PapaMakeke.com is making it super easy to shop local. Find thousands of items from hundreds of local vendors all in one place, and Papa Makeke will ship your items worldwide. Worldwide! For free. Check it out at PapaMakeke.com. Aloha. Poor earrings for Auntie Lehulu for Tutu. Your favorite foods and something just for you. Papapapakeke.com has it all and even more. Shop uh, and support local at this magical store. Oh, giving with quick and shipping is free. You cannot go wrong at Papapapakeke.com. Oh, giving with Something for everyone from Keiki to Kupuna. And you heard Jake. I mean, he intro food in that giveaway. So there's food, snacks, toys, apparel, 
something for everybody at papamakeke.com. And thank you so much for that free shipping song. Nat and Halane and Isaac. That was fly, okay, you guys. All right, time for us to meet our next artist. And my favorite, favorite memory that I got a chance to share with this wahine is being in the same classes as her. We're on the Hawaiian cultural path at Winter Community College here in Kaneohe. And she was already an established artist. She was already dropping singles all over the place. Um, she was already traveling the world, but to see somebody like that just kind of stop down and get back to her roots and, and learn. And it was so humbling to see that. Um, but more than anything, she had us cracking up every single day. She's just so good fun. And she's also an incredible singer, songwriter. I hope you're ready for her. Family, this is Paula Funga. Hui, aloha. Um, I'm here with my best friend, Brad Watanabe, and um, we're going to be playing some music for you. So this is a song that I wrote about living on the North Shore in the wintertime from my perspective as a snorkeler. So anyway. Remember as I laid down my head, rumbling the distance and tomorrow I'll be sadness. To break for me and love the life that I'm living, sticking to the sad, still a lover of lay, and I know just what to do. Relax, enjoy the view. Twelve feet high starts the with the swell blue. Opening up the river, you know what that means. Rainbows, waterfalls, the mountains so green. I love the rain and when that cold wind blows Time to snuggle, I know just what to do Chicken for pie or soup Twenty feet rising, the winter's well blue One December morning, I wake to the sound Word around town is the eddies going down I tell you the truth, the prediction is true Do my shopping early cause you know what it means to I know just what to do Tonight we barbecue, 30 feet rising, the winter swell blue. Brad the ukulele now, and it's really cool um, being able to jam with Brad because he can play everything. And um, this is a song. So that first song, Winter Soul Blues, is on an album by Brushfire Records, and it's their holiday album. Brushfire Records is Jack Johnson's label, and um, I wrote that song for that album. And this song, and that was a holiday album, and then this song. Mele Kalikimaka um, was released last year and um, it's on this warm December volume three and it's a really fun song and I hope you guys like it. Mm 
song so much brad thank you so much and brad produced the track if you guys get a chance to look at it um or download it on um you know all music <laughs> streaming media mm -hmm. and this last song is super special uh last year um kimmy and i recorded a little thing for your Monday Mele, right, Brad? And when Brad was like, okay, we can do Christmas songs, uh, I was like, okay, let's do Christmas Luau and let's have Kim sing, you know, the other part. And it'll be like a duet, it'll be super fun. And we did that and we loved it so much that we ended up recording it for um, a future Haku collective Christmas album. So yeah, it just came out to, we, it was so fun because we got to record um, and write a new verse in the middle. And then one of, I have 13 best friends and Brad is like my best, my Brad is my number one best friend of, of them all. Oh, <laughs> thanks, P. Yeah, of course, Brad. <laughs> and then, um, so anyway, one of my other 13 best friends, he was able to, translate the bridge for us and another one of my best friends is a kumu hula hula is amazing at implements and he added hawaiian implements to it so it sounds like a luau because i wanted it to sound like hula implements not like just percussions for for christmas luau and it was really cool and it was cool to produce it with brad and kimmy a as well so go check that out i'll be singing all the verses and all the parts or well, you know the leads anyway <laughs> but yeah, christmas luau my favorite christmas song so thank you enjoy The night before Christmas and all through the holiday, they were singing and dancing and ho oh, mali mali, a mind her moo behind his maro, greeting I got near the hair Sister gathered flowers for relay. Brother watched the move all the day. Soon the music makers began to play. Mele mo then knew a Hawaii day. The tapes were loaded with plenty of cocoa. We hear salmon and steaming on low low. We ate and talked story until we were po. It was really my kai at the Christmas luau. Out of the backyard, Santa appeared. He said to the cakey, hey, what's with this year? He gets slippers and coolie for Carlo. He hands us makana and we say mahalo. Ho kani na kana kahi meni na 
mele kai kai kei ane the tables were loaded with mea ono apia wala and plenty kololo we ate and talked story until we were pop it was really my kai at the christmas tree It was the night before Christmas and all through the holiday They were singing and dancing and oh, oh, molly, molly My mind, her mo'o, my mind, his malo Greeting I got never hear my heart Sister gather flowers for relay Brother watched the emu all the day Soon the music makers began to play Mele all that knew of her vaine The tables were low with plenty of cocoa, picky, salmon, and steaming hot lolo. We ate and talked a story until we were poor. It was really my kai at the Christmas new hour. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas new I <laughs> can't hear you, Tito. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I never unmute myself. Sorry, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Paula? How you doing, Brad? We're good. How are you? I'm good, sister. Thank you Merry so Merry much. Christmas. We've been enjoying the show. I love that everybody's performances were so wonderful. I, yeah. Thank you for having us. Thank you for letting us be a part of this. Well, I love you, sister. Thank you so much for always bringing joy wherever it is that you go. And, you know, I know that you are, you can be a standalone solo artist. You, your ukulele, boom, hours of music. But I also noticed that you love collaborations, yeah? You love to work with other people. Name some of your other, and I know you said you have 13 best friends and that Brad is number one best friend, but um, name, name yeah. a few of the other artists that you get a chance to collaborate with. Well, Mike Love is another one of my 13 best friends. Um, Kimi Ye is one of my closest and dearest friends. I just like, um, love her so much and we got to collaborate on a song um, Christmas Blue Owl that I just sang and it's just so wonderful and you know uh, I support her in all of her endeavors with Haku Collective and her Haku uh, mentoring program for, for the youth and we're just so we, we both are very supportive of that and Brad actually he helped to um, produce the Nakamakai Children of the Sea album that just came out, I think last week. And, so good. Um, songs on that, yeah, like uh, I helped to write for that album and it's just such a wonderful thing. To me, the best part about making music is jamming with my friends, you know what I mean? Hanging out with them and doing the thing that we love the most. And it's like all of our gift, you know? And it's such a beautiful thing to be able to share that. and have that interchange of energy creatively and, you know, just like soulfully on a soul, on a deeper soul. Connection. I actually feel, I actually feel that about you. In fact, um, and it's not just, Oh, get up on stage, practice a couple of songs together, perform it. And that that's it. That's the end of your relationship. I noticed that your relationships are very heartfelt. In fact, I heard that you are Omea's godmom. Is that correct? Yes. Kimye, Kimye's daughter, her oldest daughter, is my goddaughter and you know i was just so touched and honored by that and um yeah i feel so so honored to be her godmother and i cannot wait to grow old with kimie and and share her grandbabies and hi omea lani and Ola. <laughs> they're watching they're tuning in right now i love you guys so much and i miss you and um yeah Melika Kimaka. that's my favorite girl right there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know I, I, love, I, I love them so much thank you and i feel that relationships are so strong for you sister and i appreciate that that when you when you collaborate that it's not just for that one moment that your collaborations are for life forever and i appreciate that about you 
Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I love, I always say my, you know, my friends are the family that I choose for myself. And so it's so important for me to be friends and to love the musicians that I work with. And I'm going to cry right now thinking about how much I love Brad and how much he loves me. You know what I mean? Cause it's definitely a mutual thing and it's such a beautiful, wonderful thing. And I just feel so lucky and so blessed to have so many um, wonderful friends. And like, I wish all my musicians could be here right now. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? I miss that about. Okay. So I just want to, I just want to make it. Of this. <laughs> I just want to make it clear that, wait, 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 these, Paula, these are happy tears, right? Because I don't want to these be the DJ that tears. makes you cry. I do not want to be the DJ that makes you cry. I love I working on the one by K-I-N-E. I want to stay there working on the one by K-I-N-E. I don't want to be the one that makes you cry. <laughs> so please, please tell everybody that these are happy tears because you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be all professional. I'm, I'm just a sensitive but... person. I, I, I know, and you have you have. I cry even when I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you know, watch what you say <laughs> to people <laughs> when people are listening. You know, think about what you say before you say things. Maybe okay. like feel. Feel it from your heart first before you let it exit your mouth. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Well, I do feel it from my heart. <laughs> but sister, for real, that's the one thing Good. I felt about you is how you is how you collaborate, how you make these connections and and these mu musical connections are powerful. The ones that you've made with Mike Love, I enjoy watching your performances. Just the two of you guys. You and, and Mr. B-Dub right there. I mean, th the music that you guys make is incredible. What you and Jack Johnson do together, what you and Kimie do together, it's a beautiful thing. And I celebrate you and I love you for that. And yeah, I made you cry, but I made you cry happy tears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Lena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cry, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, the, the beauty of this Good is thing, that the I know is the songs are done, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, sister, I do know that there's so many other people that want to collaborate with you. In fact, a lot of them are tuning in right now. Want to say aloha to Kel Kaha. Um, want to say aloha to Barb out in Ohio, to Kawe out in Dumfries, Virginia. Yep, on the other side of the wow, continent, tuning in gosh. right now. Yeah, and you know, it's late over there, right? Like I mean, warmth. Yes, they're streaming worldwide. LA is tuning in, Medford, Oregon, Santa Barbara, Tacoma, Washington. They all feel your tears. They all feel your heart. And I think they all want to collaborate. They all want to be on Paula Funga's best friends list. I know it. <laughs> Take a number because get one long line for number 15 right now. There is. I'm lined up, Gun Fun It. I'm lined up. In fact, speaking of list, sister. There is a list that you are a part of, the 12 days of giveaways on popupmakeke.com. Is that correct? Yes. Uh-huh. And I'm super excited well, because, you know, you, you chose one whole big basket of goodies um, for this grand prize winner. And I believe, um, yes. I believe, I just want to double check with the word, okay? I just want to make sure that it's okay for us to give these away. But before we do, I want to ask you about about your music. Tell me a little bit about some of the great projects that are coming up for you. Well, I'm working on my next album. It should come out in the first quarter, hopefully, of 2021. <laughs> but um, I got some really exciting news um, that Jack Johnson's interested in having me sign up as an artist on his label, Brushfire Records. <laughs> So I'm really excited and I feel so blessed to to have that and um it's in the works still so we're um we haven't made an official announcement yet but yeah I'm super stoked he's been so supportive of my career and I love him so much and he's just one of the most humble guys and he's made me cry lots of times <laughs> so don't even worry Lena <laughs> like in a good way you know in good ways his music and just like you know He's such a 
positive role model for me in my life, musically and personally. You know, he's just like one of the best humans. And I try to surround myself with the best type of humans. So like, thanks, Brad, being one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. And so you, that project so, is coming yeah. up. That project is coming up in 2021. And then you got something coming up with Jack Johnson. But don't you have something with Keiki that's like on right now? Were you a part of that? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it's the um the Kamakai Children of the Sea album. Actually, Brad, that's the one that Brad helped to produce with Kimmy A. And um we're so excited. Brad, maybe you yeah. want to talk about it a little bit. Um yeah, it's a great album. It's featuring a lot of uh the Keiki, um, like Malie, who was on earlier, and um yeah, it's it's a great album. Um, your song is really awesome too that you wrote, Polo Kaba. Yeah. Uh, Tiara, yeah. Yeah. Tiara Gomes. Oh, Tiara. Yeah. And um, she's amazing too. She's 18 years old, has this beautiful, incredible voice. And I'm so honored. I wasn't planning on singing on it at all. I helped Kimmy A write it. It was super magical, just the whole process of doing that through Zoom and like tapping into like that um our souls, you know, and like from imagining how you even create a va'a, all the steps from the pule to the seeing the kahuna um, kalai va'a to like felling the tree, curing the tree, making the tree into a canoe, sailing the canoe, you know, like all these things we like thought about it all. And so to be able to write that song for, for the keiki as um, helping to, you know, create a legacy for them to, you know, have this cultural knowledge um, taught to them through Mele is such a huge, beautiful thing. And um, that song that, that song in particular, I was able to sing, I was in the studio one day, just kind of like checking it out, you know? Yeah. And then Kimmy A was like, oh my God, can you try sing this song? Like, can you just give it a pass? And she was like, oh my God, yes, sister, you have to be on this song. And I was like, okay, cool. So it really came out great. I loved it. I love what you guys did. Taimane Gardeners playing ukulele on that. So Ooh. it's a real manawahine mele, you know? So yeah, thank you. That's awesome, thank you, Kim, sister. For asking me to be a part of it. Yeah. That is yeah. awesome. And I believe that thank that you. is available right now. So that's a good gift to give, right? For the holiday season. Yes, we have um, hard. We have hard CDs like that you can get your physical CD, or like you can give it away digitally too. You know, and Mahalo Nui to um, the Chef Hui. They purchased like a thousand CDs to put into their baskets that they'll be giving away um, to families in need. You know, they create these baskets and boxes of beautiful produce and resources for families. Um, and they'll be giving it away in their um, festival of hope for families. So if anybody's looking for a good way to um, support the community through donations to um, to a place, I would check out festival of hope for families through the um, child and family services. And it's really cool that I get to work with that program because um, I was a foster child, a foster youth growing up in the foster care system. And there are multiple systems of, um, you know, managing those foster, foster um, relationships. And child and family services was the one that I was under in foster care. So being able to work with them and hopefully and create resources for for children and f children and families in Hawaii is just like a full circle thing and it just like I'm so grateful for that so yeah yeah they yep. just bought a thousand CDs so yeah it's a that great way to get spread that legacy you know put mm -hmm. these lessons into mm -hmm. the hearts of our keiki and the next generations Yep, you're putting your passions right back into the places that helped you. And that's an amazing thing. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, December 19th is a big drive through event for them, right? So that's going to yes. be so awesome. Yes. Uh -huh. Right on. And okay. You guys, um, 
families that get to be a part of it are in for a special treat. So yeah. Shh. No tell. <laughs> but are you ready, sister? Are you ready to reveal your 12 days of giveaway and this incredible um, package that you put together? Because we're ready to give it away, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So, you saw my you saw my boogie. That was my boogie was smooth, huh? All right. Okay. So big mahalo to uh, Makawila Inc., Prince Kuhio Hawaiian Civic Club, Aloha Modern, Matsumoto Studio with that cute. Oh my gosh, those cute little cutouts that Musubi one is just the best. Haku Collective, of course, and that's a adult with a cakey set there, plus that $50 pop-up makeke gift card. All right, and I think it's time for us to give that bebe away. So you ready, sister? <laughs> <laughs> you ready? <Yeah. laughs> She's like, uh, okay, so I have it right here on my iPad. There's a, the little <laughs> stringy thing, the <laughs> we, we're gonna give this bugger away okay are you ready are you ready i'm ready i'm okay. ready okay here we go i'm gonna swipe them drum roll brad huh? all right oh okay congratulations to oh i hope i say this correctly congratulations to lahaina grants of makawao Lahaina what Grants is it? of Makawao. Lahaina Grants of Makawao. Wow, awesome. Congratulations, Lahaina. <laughs> yeah, it's a $220 prize pack from Papa yeah, Makeke and from my Tita Palafunga. She picked all her favorites. Yes, I picked all my favorites. Enjoy. <laughs> and just a side note, on those greeting cards, um, those Moana Nui Akea greeting cards, if you notice the one with the Statue of Liberty, I am actually on the Hokulea in the Hudson River in front of the Statue of Liberty. So, yeah, that's also one of the reasons why I chose that as one of the gifts. So, frame Sister, it. Don't give it away. That is beautiful. I was actually on the shore. I was actually on shore bringing you guys in. Oh my gosh, I remember. <laughs> Crazy. That was amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Congratulations, Lahaina. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you know what? I think it's time, sister, to bring all of our friends back on screen. Is that cool? Yes, please do. According to my notes. <laughs> With your, with your incredibly hey, contagious hey. laugh, I love it. All right, want to say aloha to our friends out in Wisconsin. Hi, They're tuning in. Hi, Paula. Uh, Big Island, San Diego, New Orleans is also locked in right now on Haku Collective. And um, family, thank you guys so much for just being with us. Ana V, Jake Shimabukuro, Paula Funga. I got Brad Watanabe over there. Ana, I didn't get the name of your guitarist, sis. My friend Joey. Joey. Joey yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much to Joy for coming and hanging out with us and making some sweet music. Um, all right. So Haku Collective's Hana Ho series was created to support local artists featured on each episode and to help keep Mele in Hawaii free for viewers just like you. So you can always show your support family at hakuhawaii.com slash donate. Now, I heard that there was a sweet collaboration between you guys. Can somebody tell me who was responsible for that and how it went down? <laughs> oh, that, that, that was my favorite part of that was my favorite part of the whole thing but yeah you guys can't expect I, I was so so honored to work with both of you i mean you guys were it was amazing um it was actually yeah. oh go jake oh sorry sorry no 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 oh, no <laughs> Wait, I thought um, we I thought we rehearsed this. Did we rehearse? I thought so. I don't know. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't, re no, no. I don't remember yeah. what we rehearsed. No. It was my idea. For uh, Anna or Paula, in right? Particular. Was... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. What was that, Paula? What was I just <laughs> love it. It's a... uh, it was my idea to do this particular song, Jingle Bells, um, Frank Sinatra style, because it was just so fun and it lended itself to be able to like collaborate harmonically with Anna V and I wanted to be able to sing with her and like, trade lines and stuff. So I think you guys are going to really love this. So 
Yeah, and Jake right sounds on, great okay. on the ukulele. Brad plays stand up bass, and we have yeah. um, what else? Percussion. Scotty played percussion, I think, right? Scotty. Nice. Scotty yeah. Percussion. Awesome. All right, well, yeah. let's go ahead and awesome. have a little sneak peek of this wonderful yeah. collaboration. It's just the team. You so gotta funny. get the full so song <laughs> at Haku Collective Check YouTube out, you channel guys. live right now. Yeah. Paula, thank you so much. That was a brilliant idea. And while Super I do nice love Frank together. Sinatra's version of Jingle Bells, I think that this is gonna be my new favorite version of Jingle Bells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your voices together, the the way you guys harmonize and your voices and the energy and the chemistry, the the oh, is, is I love it so much. Like, thank I, you, I, I Jake. Into it. Me too. I thank you guys. It was that so was I just so want to say, Anna, your voice is so beautiful. Sorry, sorry. I just wanted to say thank you so much. Uh, it's such a blessing to collaborate with you too. I remember when I got the list of who I was going to be on the show with. I was like, oh, Jake, Paula. So my mom was like, oh, Look at this. So, anyways, it's just such a, a great opportunity, and thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It goes both. It goes both ways. It goes three ways, four ways, or yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm family, really we're just it. about ready to wrap up this incredible show, Meli and Hawaii. This is the final one of the year 2020, and while 2020 kind of went punch us in our face, I love it that we all recovered somehow, some way, by coming online and showcasing our music and our aloha. I'm gonna give each of you folks a chance to say your your quick goodbyes or your 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 final thoughts before we wrap things up. And I wanna start with Paula and Brad. I just wanna say mahalo nui to everyone who's tuning in. I'm so stoked that this is gonna be, um, you know, around um, for a little while. So yeah. Mahalo, aloha. We send all our love to you guys. Be safe, be happy, all that. Be blessed, all that good stuff. Thank you so much, sister. Anavi, any last thoughts? I just want to say thank you to Jake and Paula and thank you, Haku Collective, and everyone that was a part of making this happen. I'm very grateful to be a part of this. And happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everyone. And thank you, Lena. <laughs> You're welcome. And love that lighting scheme, sister. We got to talk story about Thanks, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, that Jake. Nice. Oh, no, just, yeah, just mahalo to everyone. It was such an honor to be here. Um, Paula, Anna, so great collaborating with you guys. And, uh, and Brad, you too. Great bass playing on the track. It was so cool. Um, Lena, always great to see mm -hmm. you. And, you know, and like, like Anna said, you know, big shout out to... Uh, Haku, uh, Haku um, Collective, the whole gang there, the whole crew, they're just so incredible to work with. Um, Pop up Makeke, make sure you go and support them. Big uh, shout out to CNHA for making this all possible. So happy holidays to all of you. Merry Christmas and see you in the new year. Thank you so much, family. And yes, I would just like to mirror all of that beautiful mahalos. Thank you so much to Kimi and her incredible crew, um, Teresa and Chantel and Evan, that I got a chance to work with to make this all happen. Um, and again, very big mahalo to our friends at the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement, Pop Up Makeke, and their sponsors, the City and County of Honolulu, the County of Maui, as well as our Hawaii community. In fact, coming up tomorrow, tune in to the Noka Oi episode with Mayor Victorino and your incredible host, my brother Billy V, along with the beautiful Paula Akana. And don't forget, family, go check out Haku Collective's YouTube channel live for this sweet collaboration of Anavi. Paula Funga, and Jake Shimabukuro. I'm Lena Girl with Hawaii 105 KINE, proud to be here for the final Mele in Hawaii 2020. Please join us again on the next episode of Mele in Hawaii coming up on Saturday, January 16th, next year. <laughs> so until then, from Chibu. our Hale to yours, aloha. aloha. Aloha, mwah, malama pono.
Tschüss.